this trading company. So, so tell us some, some fun stuff, and there's a lot of great stories to tell, and uh, we were talking off camera about this character Gordon Gecko in the movie Wall Street, and it's so topical now with oh. what's happened in our financial markets. Uh, you created them, or certainly dressed all of them. Uh, in 1985, uh, w we decided to change the business, and we uh, J.C. Penney was uh, starting to uh, uh, have designers uh, or show designers, and they made us an offer we couldn't resist. And I told my investors that if I was going to do something so mass market, I wanted to start a really high end business to keep the name at that level. And so I started a custom tailored business. And about six months into that uh, first year, the uh, people who were doing the wardrobe for this movie, uh, Wall Street, came to me because. Um, uh, my, I made a lot of ready-to-wear for people in the in the uh, Wall Street uh, uh, banking community. So they kind of knew of you through the real Wall Streeters and wanted it to be you know right. as realistic as it could. Well, and Barbarians of the Gate, which is one book, and Liars Poker, which was another book, had both mentioned Alan the Alan Flusser suit. Yeah. So anyway, they came and together, um, you know, we put together this outfit uh, or this type of clothing for Michael Douglas, which was uh, clearly going to play a large role and. The the uh, Warner Brothers spent close to like forty th or fifty thousand dollars on his wardrobe, which is mm. something probably hasn't been done in years. Greed and is good. I just greed is good. Exactly. <laughs> I just yes, we just went over that the other day. And uh, Michael was had never actually been in a movie. You know, he had done those things with Rolling the Stone. You know, so he had really never worn a tie and shirt in any mm. of these movies. This was like a big departure for him, and he got all slicked up and stuff. And um, the clothes uh, from uh, the clothes from that movie just uh, actually uh, put me and my business on the uh, fashion map because uh, the business w the first year that we did in the cust in the custom end of the world something like six hundred thousand dollars the following year we did two point three million dollars we had Jerry Bruckheimer and Madonna's manager and people from all over the world flying in to look to like look Gordon like Gecko, uh, Gecko. Isn't and that something? and uh, Actually, the cl it's had uh, tremendous legs because the clothes, which because they were custom made, it's one of the few wardrobes ever done for a movie that 20 years later people can kind of still wear. Sure. And if you you know go down to Goldman Sachs or Lehman Brothers and look at the, some of the partners of what they're dressed, it's not very different than that what goes that to was. your point about the difference between the men's and the women's fashion industry. There's not that much tumult. A suit is a suit, and a tie is a tie. I probably right. said something really bad. No, 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 <laughs> no. That's no, no, no. I mean, there's listen. There, there there's like there's new dress mayor versus <laughs> like. <you know. laughs> uh, well, you know, he wanted to look like he wanted to 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 present himself in a way that looked like he could wear any type of clothing that he wanted. You know, uh, real uh, in your face. Clothes and uh, within that construct of upper class kind of well-to-do dressing, I mean, ultimately people get to go from ready to wear to designers to custom clothes. And uh, well, that's, that's and that's what the the Flusser line has been, and that's what has to be influenced. Yes, uh, greatly popular. Uh, you have a uh, a scent with your uh, with your name on it. Well, I have actually. Um, I have. In this country, I have two businesses. I have the custom shop. That same custom shop still exists, and we make clothes for whomever. Right in the center of Manhattan. Right in the center of Manhattan. And uh, then I have this mass market business with a friend of mine, Jay Stein, who owns Steinmart. And Steinmart has actually opened five or six stores now in New Jersey. And it's very popularly priced uh, merchandise. It's and uh, Jay and I actually went to camp together. <laughs> and so we met when we were about eight years old. And uh, we started this business about f six or seven years ago. And so a lot of my custom customers now go to Steinmart, and, and we have a, go I have a golf line. And the, you know, the, it's so popularly priced, and it's made incredibly well that sometimes someone will call me from Florida and say, OK, that's the end of Flusser Custom. I'm only going to Steinmart. It so it's, so I'm, I'm happy to have, you know, kind of an opportunity to address both ends of the spectrum. I, that is just terrific. And I, I'm going to, we need to wrap up. I'm going to give you a moment to tell me a little bit about your book. Oh, I've written four books on men's clothes, a one, men's which style. Is and uh, uh, the last book, Addressing the Man, uh, is uh, actually was carried in Ra all the Ralph Lauren stores, and uh, Brooks Brothers made a special version of it for their stores. And uh, I've become, through the sales of the last three books, the best selling author on the subject of men's 
style and fashion. Wow. And so I'm about to embark on yet a fifth book. So, so not only were you, you know, economically successful, but uh, on top of it, you've now uh, that has given you the imprimatur beyond all of the other background you had to be a, an expert. Well, in the I field. like I like to share, you know, the information. It shouldn't be so exclusive to just people who can spend a lot of money. So uh, I appreciate you sharing with us. I Thank know the you. most important thing in your life are your three daughters, as we uh, two. spoke of. Yep. Feels like three, yeah. but I only have two. <laughs> oh, I thought 25, I missed one in the middle, and there was an 20, eight in 28 there. and 25. 28 and 25. 28 and 25. There you go. I was giving you one that was really young, too. That I would take it. a third. <laughs> That's it. Well, I'll let you Great. borrow one once. Okay. <laughs> I really appreciate you coming out. Thank you. I know your schedule is Thank something else. Me. There's so much to talk about. I know you're uh, dressed Governor Corzine, and, and I imagine just a whole array of people that would be known to uh, our audience that are dressed for success, and uh, we're really proud of you. I'm Thank so you. glad that this was the place where you grew up and oh, were absolutely. educated and, uh, and have done so well in this particular uh, aspect of the world, and we're going to keep looking for your stuff. It was a great place to grow up. Yeah. I'm sure it still is. It, it absolutely is, and again, thank you for being with us my, today. My pleasure. Thank okay. you for having me.